Hey, what's up everyone? Danny and Alex. In the last two videos, we covered some hand techniques for mixed martial arts. Today, let's look at some of the kicks we use, barred from the Thai boxing. All right, so when it comes to MMA, we're going to use the same techniques that we use in Muay Thai, but there's going to be some variations in the sense that I don't like to throw body kicks, all right, because sometimes you can catch the elbow, hurt yourself if you're not precise, or the person might even catch your kick and take you down. So I'm going to recommend we use low kicks instead, all right? It keeps you grounded, you're close to the floor, easier to return for a sprawl, etc., etc. So now, let's look at the first one, the right low kick, all right? Just the chopping kick. So basically what Alex is going to do is slam his shin bone onto the outside of my lead quad right here. Boom, and that is the basic kick, all right? So if you look at some of the tutorials we've made before, we covered the basic details of a right low kick. But today, just to cover all of the techniques, he's gonna throw that kick, boom. If we switch sides, Alex, from the side here, notice how he's gonna turn, and he's almost facing you guys in the camera when he kicks, boom. That rotates the hip and ensures proper efficiency. That means driving his power into the kick. So if you're gonna throw a leg and you know for a fraction of a second or maybe a full second, you're gonna be standing on one foot. You might as well throw that power behind it and make it worth it, all right? You wanna make it worthwhile for the rotation. You don't wanna just throw um, a sloppy kick and then maybe get punched, countered, or taken down. You wanna throw everything you got so the opponent feels that kick. So when we train, we always ensure that we turn the hip, all right? So once again, right low kick, boom. Again, boom. And that is the first technique we like to train in MMA for legs. Now talking about low kicks, there's another great kick that's really good is the inside kick. But we're not gonna step it in, we're gonna use a switch, all right? So the switch is basically switching our stance very quickly to attack the inside kick. Now, when you switch this, what could happen is the person doesn't know what's going on and they get surprised and they can't react to block the kick. So they're just here and it's like, oop, what happened there, right? The other thing that could happen is when you switch, you might think, or I should say, I might think that he was kicking with his right side. So that's gonna force me to raise the leg and check, but I'm still gonna catch the kick. So if he goes a switch, I do this, and he still kicks me inside the leg anyhow, right? So the switch kick is a great technique for MMA. Go ahead. Boom, that's a switch kick. Again, one more thing is once you've landed the kick, don't step forward. Bounce back into the same starting position, okay? So here you go. Notice how he's always coming back to his stance. Rebounding, again, boom. And from this side, shows his kick. Always aim just above the knee, right where the teardrop of your quadricep is. That's the most sensitive area and that will buckle the leg or the opponent will feel that in his quadricep. It's gonna have a hard time positioning some weight on it and then you can start attacking with some hands. Now I did say that I don't prefer body kicks. Now there will be times when we will throw them, but we like to train the high kicks instead, all right? Because if we're gonna lift the leg a little bit higher, we might as well go for the knockout blow. There's a much better chance if I were to choose this is gonna land here, this is gonna land right here, or on the temple, even on the neck, I'm gonna say, show the high kick instead, right? That's a more guaranteed piece of knockout technique, okay? So here we go. The high kick is gonna be right here on the head, so I'm gonna place my hands, boom. So basically, you have to work your flexibility for this, but once you have that, then you're comfortable and confident you can throw high kicks. Now, the best time to throw a high kick, early or later, not in the middle, right? Early, I say, because if you catch someone by surprise, could be game over. Later, meaning that after you've thrown a few kicks, I'm thinking in my mind as your opponent that you're gonna always be attacking my leg. Maybe I'm even thinking that you don't have the flexibility to attack me higher than that. And all of a sudden, boom, surprise high kick comes out. Because the thing with low kicks is whether he's throwing low, middle, or high, it's the same movement from his hip. So I'm always thinking it's a kick, but I don't know at which level. So when he throws the high kick, this is where it's gonna catch me by surprise, where whoo, boom, I'm placing my hands because I know the technique, but in reality, I didn't know. I might think it's a low kick. After a couple of low kicks, I'm thinking that's where he's gonna kick again, and boom, surprise high kick, okay? So the high kick is a great technique for MMA. Boom, again, boom, and one more, boom. If you land that right, 
guaranteed KO. Now we're going to take a look at the next one. We looked at the switch kick on the inside of the leg. We can also use the same switch kick, but raise up to the face. OK, so from this angle now, Alex. So right here, throw the kick, boom, and then back into our position. So once again, high kick, switch to the face. Now, this high kick could land right with the jawline. It could land right at the temple. Some people I've seen in Muay Thai is they react to the kick, but they don't look away. They kind of like duck into it. So that's going to really land right on the temples. And the kick is coming out of 45, which will do chop and knock you out, right? So you've got to be very, very cautious with high kicks. If you're someone who's standing in front of someone who's very flexible with good kicks, always have your hands up. That's why I say good guard positioning, right? So high kick once again. Boom. One more. Boom. Last one. Boom. That is the left switch kick. Now we have a lot of kicks we can do. But we're going to keep the tutorial short. We're going to look at the front kicks, all right? Sometimes you can do a front kick. Sometimes you can do a push kick. But nevertheless, it's a straight line kick. What you want to do is aim for the midsection, all right? So let's start with the power side, which is your back leg, Alex. So that's your boom. See, this one here will catch you by surprise. And if not breathing correctly, meaning I'm not exhaling as I absorb the kick, and I'm inhaling instead, that's going to almost put me KO, all right? So it's a good kick to use in MMA. <laughs> Plus, there's always an opening between the elbows, right? So it's going to land right where the solar plexus is. One more time. Sometimes it's going to be more of a snapping front kick. And other times a pushing kick. Really rock me back to great. Get some distance, right? Keep them away. You can also use that with the lead leg. So now he's going to shuffle. One, two. Into the lead leg push kick once again. And bring back his stance. Sometimes we'll even use the switch. Just like we did with the swing kick, switch kick into that frontal kick again. One here. Sometimes he might even intercept me if I'm attacking with a punch. Right here. There's many ways and many tactics, but the basic technique is you have that front kick, use it for MMA. It's a great technique to have. All right, guys, so there you have it. Some basic kicking techniques for MMA. For people who are starting out, leave us a thumbs up. Don't forget, subscribe to this channel if you're new here. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.